Hey there, and welcome to another winter camping trip. Right now I'm sitting inside my tent, waiting out a snowstorm. Uh, it is the morning, day two of the trip, and uh, the wind picked up quite a lot over the night. And it looks like it's around 20 meters a second wind. Uh, this trip um, ended up being a little bit different than I thought it would be. I headed out into the mountains and I had a beautiful afternoon. The sun sets around 4 p.m. So I went to bed very early. Probably one of the coldest nights I've ever had in a tent. It was really freezing. Just gonna wait out this snowstorm and uh, see how long it takes. So come along and join me back to yesterday, to the start of the trip, and let's go from there.
All right, so it's time to get into some warmer camp clothes and uh, make a cup of coffee, I think. So a lot of people keep asking me about uh, these uh, Hellsport foot bags. These are the ones that I use to kind of drag over my boots or my camp shoes that will go over my knees and protect me from getting too much snow everywhere while I'm walking, or walking around camp.
Well, good morning. That was a very cold night and the wind picked up as well. So I looked out uh, around 2 in the morning and it was storming and uh, snowing. I guess it's around 9 a.m. now. So I'm gonna get up and make some food and get into some warmer clothes and have a look outside. I actually forgot to have dinner last night because it got dark so early I got into my sleeping bag and I just fell asleep and couldn't be bothered to go out again. So I'm kind of hungry now. Got some oatmeal I'm gonna fix up if uh, I can get the water boiling. Uh, I'm pretty sure the water bottle I put in my boots uh, have frozen but we'll see.
Ha. Ah. Kind of fresh. Better get inside and get some food and coffee going. Frozen solid. kind of lame when you can't uh, dig down a pit here to cook around and to sit in but there's really not enough snow yet so probably have to wait another month or something before I can dig in a pit so now I'm just sitting on the flat here and it's kind of not optimal for moving around and you know melting water and stuff.
gonna have a piece of quick lunch chocolate. It's the Norwegian chocolate that everyone takes when they go skiing. Kind of like a Kit Kat. I filled a little bit of uh, boiling water into my, my Nalgene and so now you can see it's all liquid again. Kind of more efficient than I thought it would be with just a little bit of boiling water on top of the frozen water. This is something else entirely. It's also frozen. Wouldn't want to drink this. So a lot of you have been asking about how I can use uh, gas uh, uh, down to minus 20 degrees Celsius um, and I use this Coleman gas a lot and um, it's good to minus 27 degrees Celsius apparently I've tried it down to minus 20 and it works like a charm so I would highly recommend trying using gas on winter trips it's so much easier to use the same stuff that you use on on summer trips.